Simulation based sensitivity is used to better calculate your sensitivity analysis when you have a model that's complicated with conditional logic, iteration moves, nonlinear measurements. So this helps provide more accurate results for nonlinear models. And because it's more accurate, like geofactor analysis, you can modify your tolerances and have better confidence that the new results from the equation type based analysis is more accurate. This is also going to have a uh, webinar specifically focused on it. So you can join this webinar to get a little more in depth. In the meantime, I am going to jump over here and I'm going to open up a different model. And uh, this is the, you know, simplified lever assembly. And if I go in here, you know, main measurement that we're looking at is I want to look at this virtual clearance between these two holes. And uh, you can see, you know, I have some variation on here. If I take this model and I run an analysis, you can see that virtual clearance measure, we're predicting a range of 1.98 or 2.07 if you assume it's a normal distribution. If I take this and I run GeoFactor, I'm going to use it from Advanced Analyzer Optimizer. So this is your, you know, this is the button <coughs> to run GeoFactor. You can see that uh, GeoFactor is predicting a range of 2.2. So it's not, you know, as close to the six standard deviations from our uh, true Monte Carlo analysis um, as we would hope. So, you know, from GeoFactor, you know, you're allowed to change these tolerances and get instant results. But depending on how far this number is off from the original design, you're not going to be as accurate. And, and this is still a very simple model. <clears throat> you know, it gets more complicated if you have, you know, conditional logic and iteration moves. So, from here, we've added this button here, which is simulation simulation-based sensitivity. This actually runs multiple simulations to analyze the uh, interactions between the tolerances and helps us produce a better coefficient number. So if I, You're good. If I uh, open this up, this is going to take, because, you know, because I am running six interactions 2,000 times this is going to take some time and so I did not I'm not going to run it during this webinar and this is just showing you the results and the first thing I want to point out is you can see that with uh, simulation based sensitivity my range is 2.02 .02. and it um, is matching better what's happening in the true simulation this window over here and the other you know one of the reasons why is if we look at this position one tolerance with just geofactor it's calculating a coefficient of 0.71 because we do not get to analyze the interaction between the tolerances but because we are running multiple simulations we're getting a better calculation of the coefficient 0.64 and now my results you know, match better with the actual 3DCS simulation. There's uh, multiple things you can do in this uh, simulation based sensitivity. I'm looking at the coefficients, you can look at the percentages, you can look at the amounts. Um, this is the type of stuff you can look at the mean distribution parameters. This is what's going to be covered in the separate webinar and in fact there was a preview webinar as well from last september 
Uh, so that contains a, a deeper dive into SVS as well. So you, you don't have to wait until the next uh, webinar. You can get uh, started uh, learning about it right now.